Hello guys, right here we have one of Akko's newest keycap offering, the Akko Starry Sky keycaps. So this one was sent over to us by Akko for an honest review. All the thoughts and opinions are on my own, but again, this is a subjective hobby. Take everything that I say with a grain of salt. So you all know that Akko has a lot of keycap offering from the time when I started the hobby around two years ago. Akko has been offering a lot of good keycap sets in the market and what sets them apart from other keycaps producer would be the price. So their price relatively in the middle range of the spectrum, not too cheap, not too crazy expensive as well. And yet they deliver a quality that's very good. So I have tried a lot and by that I mean a lot of Akko keycap sets from their original older Cherry Profile versions to my most favorite Mars Green and their cool and warm gray Cherry Profile keycap sets which are I think the best Akko keycaps thus far to their favorite proprietary OSA Profile keycaps and their MDA Profile keycaps and I would say that all of those keycaps are good. They are really good, especially for the price. And right now here, we have the new colorway and design that they release. It's the Akko Starry Sky layout. So it's a dark blue colorway with yellow legends and some red accents and light blue legends here and there. And I think it really looks nice. All right. So... I love the layout, I love the keycaps. The only thing that I don't like, honestly, with the OSA profile keycaps of Akko is that, um, number one, it's the profile. So it's the height of the keycaps. Uh, it's a bit higher. So let's check the chart over here. So your OSA keycaps comes in a bit higher than your OEM, by, but not by much. So for those who are used to the OEM layout, um, it's really not that different or not far off an experience, all right? My problem is I feel that for these OSA keycaps of Akko, their sound is so distinctly strong. And what, what do I mean by that? So the OSA keycaps that I've tried thus far on different keyboards, on different switches, the sound profile is so strong that it influences the overall sound signature of your keyboard build. So do check this out. So that is across several keyboards with different builds and and different uh, different switches in them, and the, the sound tends to end up being distinctly Akko's OSA profile keycaps. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I would describe the sound as um, higher pitch with a bit of a hollow, not in a bad way, but hollow-ish sound signature that from time to time i really like so there are times that i like it there are times that it it becomes bordering hollowish in my sound signature preference and my my main problem again is that um it it becomes so distinctive that even if i change my build i, I would i would hear and i would know that oh my god this is the uh, Akko's signature profile all right uh, is that completely bad um no again to each his own preference at the end of the day all right so uh that's all i have to say about the keycap sets really good i love the feel i love the legends very crisp very clean although some would not want those very large texts on the alphas i my form i for myself i i don't mind right so i love everything about this keycap set 
minus the distinct sound profile that from time to time kind of turns me off all right but other than that if you're considering getting the ski caps if you like the osa profile by all means um, you will not regret it this is akos starry sky profile keycaps once again guys thank you for listening and i'll see you in the next video